This is of course the Mazda CX-30, but more importantly, this is the CKD version of the CX-30. And today, we're going to take a look at what's the difference between the CKD version and the CBU version of the CX-30. Alright, starting off with the exterior, you can see the CKD version of the Mazda CX-30 just look pretty much the same with its CBU counterpart. You get the same Odo design language look with the sporty roofline at the back. You still got the flared out rear wheel arches. It rides on the stylish 18 inch wheels. The CKD version of the CX-30 doesn't really lose that much compared to the CBU counterpart. Okay, now we're on board on the Mazda CX-30 CKD on the High Plus variant. So as you can see here, you get standard equipment like this leather wrapped steering wheel with lots of buttons for the infotainment and the others control. The semi-digital driver's display. On top of that, you get the head-up display as well. At the center, of course, you get the central infotainment display with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay connectivity, albeit wired. But on the front edge, you still got this very plush looking leather front dash you also got the leather wrap armrest here leather wrap seats but more importantly take a look up the sunroof is not here it's gone so mind you this model employs the same two liter four cylinder sky active g engine that outputs 162 horsepower and 213 meter meters of torque so things remain pretty much the same with the CBU unit. But more importantly, I would say the Skyactiv G 2 litre engine drives the car pretty well, although there are some other models that are peppier compared to the CX-30, but it is somewhat okay for this size of SUV. So the 2 litre engine really propels the car really well. As for the driving itself, although this is somewhat a tall riding SUV, but the driving itself feels quite planted. Well, it is pretty suitable for a sporty looking SUV like this. But all in all, the 2 liter engine works just as expected, just like the CBU unit. Of course, on top of that, it's cheaper. Okay, so if you opt for the CX-30 High Plus variant like this one, you will get a slew of ADAS features including adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, and many more. So you don't really miss that much compared to the range topping high plus premium spec where the only differences that I can note in terms of safety and tech is that it got the 360 camera and the panoramic sunroof. So I have to say for a cheaper price, the high plus is just enough for you and you don't really miss that much. And there you have it folks, our first impression review on the all new Mazda CX-30 CKD version. So this is the high plus spec, so this is just one level below the range topping high plus premium. So for this model, the price starts at 146,109 ringgit, you got that right. So this model is actually much much more cheaper compared to the CBU version which starts at 145,000 and can go up to 180,000. So for that prices, you will get a five year or 150,000 kilometer vehicle warranty, as well as an additional five year or 150,000 kilometer free servicing all provided by Burmas Auto. So folks, what are your thoughts on the Mazda CX-30 CKD here? Would you take this CKD version of the CX-30 over any other Japanese SUV available out there? As always, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. My name is Moklis, for more content like this, check out tryingcars.com slash news. See you in the next video. Take care. Hey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Eh? Save more, more save. Charikas.